MDMS, okay? So admission in MDMS is open. So MD was for mid-distolic murmur and MS for mitral stenosis and open is for opening snap. Okay, as you guys can see here, it is S1, S1 and it is S2 and then this is also S1. So between S1 and S2, this was a systolic and between S2 and S1, this is diastolic. But this murmur is mid-distolic murmur, okay? And this mid-distolic murmur is going to be uh, followed by opening snap. So opening snap, now let's draw here. This is like opening snap. This is OS, okay? And then you see the murmur, like the murmur first go downward and then go upward. So this is the mid-diastolic murmur. If you want to remember the mid-diastolic murmur, it's also enough. But if you see, first we go down and then we go up. And so if you go down, this is called decrescendo. And if you go upward, that is called crescendo. So this murmur is also called decrescendo and crescendo murmur. And it is like you see, it is in the middle. So that's why it is called mid-diastolic. I draw this S1 uh, darker, which means that there is loud S1. As you guys can see here, uh, this murmur was first high in intensity, then go down, then again it move upward, so the intensity is increased. And the in intensity is increased at S1, okay? This means that there will be loud S1. So loud S1 we see in the mitral stenosis. Opening snap, like OS, okay? So what does it mean by opening snap? It is the tensing of mitral wall after opening, okay? As the stenosis, it means that there is the problem in the wall opening, okay? As you guys can see here, this is the wall opened, okay? So the blood is moving from left atrium into right, uh, left uh, ventricle. But as you guys can see here, this was the opening in the normal, okay? And now this is the opening in the, when the wall become thickened. So now you see there is a stenosis, there is a little bit area for the blood to move from left, left atrium into the left ventricle. So this remaining blood which was moving from here to here to here all the blood but now here it's only now this 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 area of the wall is going to be uh, is going to be touched by the blood and as the blood was moving from left atrium to uh, left ventricle at this area the blood is moving here but this area the blood is going to hit this area of the wall and as the blood hit this area of the wall there's going to produce a sound that is called opening snap or we, we can call it simply opening snap uh, or we can also call it sudden opening of the rigid mitral wall and because the wall is going to become thickened okay as you guys can see here this area this is the normal wall okay and this is the thickened wall so this is the opening in the normal wall and this is the opening in the thickened wall because you have to remember that mitral wall is the bicuspid wall now causes for the mitral stenosis it is the rheumatic heart disease infective endocarditis mitral wall replacement calcification which is in the old age all these problems are going to lead to the mitral wall uh, stenosis okay stenosis is also called obstruction as this was the opening normal now this is opening so this area is producing the obstruction so as you guys can see the obstruction that is mean and stenosis the severity of mitral stenosis actually depend on the length between S2 and opening snap. As you guys can see here, this is the S2 and this is the opening snap. So this duration or this length which is between the S2 and OS, this will show us the severity. If this, this OS is moving like this area, so the length will become short. As the length becomes short, it means uh, the mitral stenosis is very severe. Okay, so you guys have to remember it. Now. We will be talking about the. Uh, we will be talking about that. Uh, what other abnormalities occur in the mitral stenosis? As you guys can see here, this is the left atrium and this is the left ventricle. When the bloods come here, the bloods will move from left atrium into the left ventricle. But as there is a stenosis, there is obstruction, so the blood. It's very difficult for the blood to move from left atrium into the left ventricle. So the pressure here will be increased. As the pressure increase here in the left atrium, there will be left left atrial hypertrophy okay left atrial hypertrophy the pressure in the left atrium will be increased due to which it will lead to left atrial hypertrophy and because of it the pressure here will be also increased okay pulmonary pressure will increase because of it there will be pulmonary congestions okay and it will also lead to pulmonary edema and also pulmonary hypertension so the pressure increase here then the pressure will increase also here and which is which will lead to the pulmonary hypertension as the pressure increase here now as the blood moving from the right ventricle into this pulmonary trunk, now the right ventricle will also hypertrope.
okay because it have to push the blood against the uh, against this uh, high resistance or high pressure a patient with mid diastolic murmur increased pulmonary capillary which pressure pulmonary hypertension and left atrial hypertrophy so from this mid diastolic murmur i just got that it is mitral stenosis and as i told you in mitral stenosis there is left atrial hypertrophy and because of this left atrial hypertrophy probably there will be also okay there will be also right ventricular hypertrophy with the mid diastolic murmur and left atrial hypertrophy leading to pulmonary hypertension what other feature the same right ventricular hypertrophy from this uh, mid diastolic murmur and left atrial hypertrophy and pulmonary hypertension i got they are talking about the mitral stenosis uh, a 45 year old caucasian female is hospitalized with external external dyspnea there is a dyspnea which is due to pulmonary hypertension okay and fatigue She recently immigrated from Eastern European and has no significant fast medical history. Her blood pressure is 110, 110 by 80 mg and her heart rate is 9, uh, 90 beats per minute and regular. You suspect mitral stenosis. Which of the following is the best indicator of severity of stenosis? Okay, the severity of stenosis. Uh, first of all, we know that there is an opening snap in the mit mitral stenosis. So we will be talking about the uh, mitral sto mitral. Okay, as I already explained it, that it actually the severity of mitral stenosis depend on the length and the length or the interval between S2 and opening snap. Okay, so the answer will be going to the C. Okay, so the right answer is C.